I'm Reese Davis, coming up on the Cisco Halftime Report. So who are the sender fellas as we head toward March Madness in the NCAA Tournament? Doug Gottlieb, Tom Brennan will tell you. Another ticket has been punched. Ten spots have been reserved in the NCAA Tournament. We'll tell you who's going home and who's going away from home in the NFL. And how the Dolphins have reeled in their back. All right, Reese, thank you. Six-point lead for Wright State. Have you seen a better guard under six feet this year than Deshaun Wood? I don't think so, Terry. Let's take a look at some of the things he's done here in the first half. He's got 18 points and three assists, so he's responsible for 24 to 30 points here in the first half so far for Wright State. And this one right here might be my favorite coming up. Just slips right through the D off the one leg to the hole. You just can't stop that right there. Deshaun Wood getting it done early. Went scoreless for the first six minutes. Remember, they were down 10 nothing and have outscored Butler 30 to 12 since. Deshaun Wood, who grew up in a tough neighborhood in Detroit, his dad wasn't around for much of that time. Finally got to know him. In fact, his name used to be Lynch. He changed his name to Wood to take his dad's name late in high school. And he came here to Wright State, and his mom passed away his freshman year here. It's been, uh, to say the least, a bit of a tough going throughout his life. But here he is playing for a conference title, chance to get to the NCAA tournament, and perhaps a chance to play somewhere on the next level. Well, I, I tell you what, the way he can score, he might be small, but somebody can use that ability to put the ball in the hole. Butler has been shut down after the quick start. That go quick swing of the basketball. Bone lost it, but the foul, the reach in. I believe they're going to whistle Sc Scotty Wilson. Big East Championship presented by Aeropostal. A couple of first round games on Wednesday at 7 Eastern. Providence and West Virginia. Are they in? Are they not in? We'll see. 19, number 19 Marquette at St. John's Wednesday night at 9 Eastern time. You think they're in? I think they have to win two games in the conference tournament, even though 21 and 8 looks pretty good. Look at that strength of schedule right there, even with UCLA on the schedule. So yeah. I think that's going to hurt. If they win two games in the Big East tournament, I think they're in. I agree. We argued about Georgia Tech a couple of days ago. And yep. what do they do? They, they run the table over the weekend, and they're solid, well, solidly in. In our minds, they're in right now. Well, in your mind, they're in. <laughs> I, I still think they're bubble boy status, and they've got a little one off in the tournament. Remember I said that, eh? They're in. <laughs> Seven from the ACC. So a minute 30 left until the break. Butler has got off to the great start this year. And Wright State has got off to a horrible start. They were three and five after their first eight games. Mid-December as they really started to click. Burleson along the baseline and the foul. Deshaun Wood has done a really good job of trying to set up Burleson and, and Duggins on the wings. They haven't converted at the, at the clip that I'm sure Wood would prefer, but they're still getting open looks nonetheless because of Wood's penetration. And it comes first, team six. And Burleson, a 77% free throw shooter, didn't look like it on that show. Well, I think some of those players, you look at Burleson, Duggins Brown probably a little bit nervous coming out here. Deshaun Wood, he's like, fellas, look, this is my last go around. Y'all got to bring it. So far, he has six point lead for Wright State. Tyrone Scott off the bench for the first time for Wright State, a senior who grew up in Detroit playing against Wood when they were youngsters. Well, you can see the right state is really scouted Butler because every set play they seem to be right there. He Campbell off the glass and in the junior from Muncie, Indiana, who has set the all-time record for a single season for threes in this league. Shot 58%. And he can heat up in a hurry like we saw him do earlier in the season at Cleveland State. They had eight beyond the arc in that game. I mean, he kept stepping further and further away from the three as the game went on. Wood, striker on him. That's a mismatch. Quick this wise. Wilson couldn't handle it, though. First real mistake we've seen Deshaun Wood make. 
Looked like he had an opening there, let one of those runners fly, but trying to set his teammates up. Shot clock is off. Chance for Butler to get one before the break. Graves taking it under five. <laughs> off one and off the glass and in. Over Wood, A.J. Graves. Sweet kiss before going to the locker room. What a shot. How about the numbers for Deshaun Wood, though? Deshaun Wood getting done there, but watch this shot. Graves, broken play. You can do a runner. Well, I can too, and high off the glass at that. Pretty move by Graves going to the break. Graves three for six, seven points in the first half, but it's been all wood. He's got 18 for Wright State. Two-point lead for the home team as we join Reese Davis in the studio for our Cisco Halftime Report. All right, guys, great first half by Deshaun Wood, 19 points. Glad to have you with us on the Cisco Halftime Report. Tom Brennan, Doug Gottlieb alongside on ESPN2. Dickie Nutt, brother of the right Reverend Houston Nutt, leading Arkansas State against North Texas in the Sun Belt game. Jim Jones, Sean Morgan, game tied at four. It was very early. It's not as if the offenses were that bad. North Mitch Texas six-point lead. You think Mitch Mustaine's uh, mom is wearing green today? Oh, not going to touch that one. Kendrick Davis, the layup, 16 to 8. Isaac Wells to Morgan inside. Arkansas State leads. At that point, 29, 28, 35, 33. They're just about to go to halftime on ESPN2. Still to come on the Cisco Halftime Report, we'll show you a ticket that was punched, a thrilling game in the mid-con. We have 10 bids that have now been reserved for the tournament. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Kawasaki. Let the good times roll. And Sonic. It's not just good, it's Sonic good.